Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakal Kudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to, uh, <clears throat> you know, report uh, the latest news. Uh, basically, you know, doing a daily scroll of, you know, the, the news. And I've come across this article here talking about uh, a 5.6 magnitude earthquake striking off the west coast of Australia okay it says a 5.6 magnitude earthquake has struck some thousand kilometers northwest of the coast of Perth Australia uh, according to the US Geological Survey the quake hit a depth of 10 kilometers six miles okay and then they show you the map of where I actually take you look where it took place but the reason why I'm doing a video on this is basically to show you man like the Lord you know, it's, show, it's showing the science of the things that he said would come to pass. And it, it will, we, was, we were to measure the time diligently in itself. Okay, because the Lord says, when I see as part of the science pass, in fact, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into the Apocryphy, right? And jump straight to the point, uh, Second Ezra is the ninth chapter uh, from the first verse. And it says, and he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, um, and that's and that's and that's basically what we got, you know, we got to be doing. We got to be measuring the time diligently, okay. And we went into this at camp, and we were talking about like, you know, when when you're measuring something, you have to be accurate with your measurements, okay. When you're actually paying attention to what you're actually measuring, you got to give accurate results and accurate reports. Of what you are measuring, okay. So you're supposed to be paying attention to the to the signs of the times. Basically, that's happening around you, man. Okay. Keep your ear to the ground, so to speak. And remember, man, the scripture says, "Give diligence to make thy calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall." So we're in a, you know, you're supposed to be in the spirit of being diligent, okay. And it says, um, and when thou seest part of the science pass, which I've told thee before, and, you know, this article here is basically part of the signs that are passing, okay? And, and them signs are basically prophecies, man, okay? And the word prophecy just means to say before, you know, a 5.6 magnitude earthquake is no joke, all right? 6.0, 7.0, so on and so forth, okay? All these things, man, that, are, you know, these prophecies that are coming to pass, you know, the scriptures speak about the, the, the shall there be an evil in the, in the city and the Lord have not done it. It's the Lord that's making this happen. Okay, and recently we just had, uh, what, uh, they had another earthquake in Alaska. You know, sinkholes just opening up, swallowing cars whole, man. All right, giant cracks just appearing in the middle of roads. Okay, imagine you wake up one morning and you find your car just like, you know, in a ditch somewhere, man, like uh, uh, a thousand feet, you know, uh, or, or no, sorry, 30, 30, you know, 30 feet in the, uh, 50 feet in the ground, right, then what are you going to do, okay, it says that, then shalt thou, un shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and that's prophecy, okay, these signs are coming to pass, and the highest is beginning to visit the world which he made. And the Lord is going to visit America with those missiles, man. And he's also going to send his son, all right, to basically take down all these other nations as well, mainly Esau, all right? And because Esau is the end of the world, man. And that's another sign of the times. We know that we're definitely in the end because when you go to Second Ezra's, um, the sixth chapter, it speaks about Esau being the end of the world and Jacob being the beginning of it that followeth. So, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to basically, you know, bring in his kingdom, man. You know, which is the Jacob that followeth. That's prophecy too. And that's how we know that we're in the end. Because Esau is the wicked. And, you know, he's spreading wickedness throughout the face of the earth. And he's in power of the earth. Why? Because the earth has been given into his hand. Okay. So we know that it's Esau. Because if, if it's not Esau, who else is it? The basis of men is in rulership in these last days, man. And the Lord has left the, you know, the worst for last to rule over, you know, the face of the earth, man. And that's why the judgment is going to be so heavy when America is destroyed, okay, and his kingdom is taken from him. 
It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And you're seeing earthquakes. Okay, we, you know, I'm, do, I'm doing a video on an earthquake right now. You know, as I scroll through RT News articles and I see an earthquake 5.6 5 magnitude over off the coast of Australia, that's a, pro that's a prophecy right there. And uproars of the people, don't let me get started on the gilets gilet jaunes, you know, the yellow vests over in France, all right? Hyping up over the increase in tax fuel prices and all of that kind of stuff. This, these things are happening because the Lord is shaking things up in these last days. All right, and the elites also, he's put his spirit on the elites to actually push forward their new world order, right? But then what? They're going to get that established. They're going to push out the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. But then the Lord says when he's about to fill his belly, you know, he's going to cast his fury upon him, man. Loosely paraphrasing. That's in Job 20. Okay, because, uh, hey, man, Esau's got his bounds that he just cannot pass, man. So these are the part of the signs that are passed. And these are the times when the highest is going to begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, we can get another uh, another uh, prophecy as well, which uh, Yahweh Shai told the disciples in Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay, and I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 6, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. How many uh, 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 war drills have you been seeing all the other nations getting and being involved in or joint war drills, you know, involved in in these, in these last days, man? Okay. Wars and rumors of wars. Tensions are rising between Russia and America. These things are happening, man. Okay? It says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not, not yet. Why, why shouldn't we be troubled? Because look, man, our kingdom is next. Okay? And we got this truth, and the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. Lord willing, we're, you know, we're under the Lord's grace, and, he's, you know, and he saves us in these last days. We ain't got nothing to worry about. We ain't supposed to fear, man. The only one we're supposed to fear is... The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. Oh, don't get me started on the famines over there in Venezuela. Okay? you got uh, LEDC countries, man, all over the world. they got famine going on, man. Okay? And it's all down to the so-called white man. It's all down to him. He's the devil. He could end world hunger overnight. But then he chooses not to, man. Okay, you 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 know we're 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 living in a, a a rulership under a man that actually wants to see the world burn, like my guy said in um, uh, what did he say in Batman? Uh, the one with the Joker. He was like, some people, Mister Wayne, just want to see the world burn, and that's that's Esau. He just wants to see this place burn, man. You know, he doesn't want life. Esau represents death. He is as death. Okay, it says, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, right? That's the point, in diverse places. In diverse places, okay? In fact, let me look up that word diverse, because I've read this scripture many times, but I haven't even think thought to go into this word diverse. Okay, it says, uh, what? Down from throughout, okay? So there's going to be earthquakes throughout. Throughout what? Throughout the world. Throughout the earth, throughout the planet. Okay, along the planet. Okay. <clears throat> see if it says anything else here. Yeah, well, that's about it on that one, man. So, yeah, man, you know, all these are the uh, uh, beginning of sorrows, man. So, what you got to understand is what Yahweh Shai was telling his disciples, man. Right, he was telling them, look, when you shall see these things, you know, if you, you know, you're to be measuring the time diligently in, your, in itself. And when you see these things happen, just know it's the very same time. Like, we're, 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 we're almost out of here, man. You know, the, the sorrow is almost over, right? The pain, the mourning is almost over. Remember, when the Lord comes back, he said that Jacob shall be at rest. Let's get that in Jeremiah 30. Uh, Jeremiah. Because there's nothing, you know, we, we can't enjoy this life, man. What's there to enjoy? Well, a bunch of Chinese trannies running around, all right? A bunch of homosexuals backing you up, talking about the rights that they have. You know, you got to, you know, you step out your house, you you, you know, on, on, on a gay pride march, you got people waving a rainbow flag in your face, flaunting in there, uh, sod uh, 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 sodomy in front of your face, and you got to accept it. You got to send your, 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 your children to school with, with a bunch of freaks. Picking up bad habits from heathen, heathen children, man. All right? Drag queens teaching children at schools. Putting demons on them. 
paedophile rings being outed. Okay? Football coaches popping little boys in the ass. This is the kind of stuff that's going on. All right? And it's all down to the so-called white man. Because you best believe, ain't none of this going to be happening in the kingdom, man. Jeremiah 30 and 8. And it shall come to pass... Um, in fact, no, 39. But they shall serve the Lord their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Right? And and, and King David is going to be back as well, man. Okay? And it says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from their land, from the land of their captivity. And we're still in captivity till this day, man. You know, he like Deontay Wilder said, To this day! We're still in captivity to this day, man. Okay? And Jacob shall return. Jacob, meaning Israel, shall return and shall be in rest. And shall be quiet and none shall make him afraid. Because right now, man, we're in a valley of the shadow of death. We're in that low land. All right? Where anything can happen, man. You can get shot, stabbed. Your woman can leave you. You could die of depression, stress. They say stress is the biggest killer, right? Heart attacks. You know? The shit, the, the, you know, the, 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 the degraded conditions that we're expected to live in and survive. It's getting ridiculous. That's why the Lord says he must come back and shorten the time. Lest there be no flesh left to be saved. Because it was up to Esau. Look, man, he destroyed himself and the planet, man. Because he is as death. But there's going to come a time when none's going to be able to make us afraid. We're going to finally be able to be in rest. And that's why the scripture says in Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this place is not your rest. It will destroy you, you know. And that though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Okay? So with that, man, Lord willing, and we've got a lot of things to look forward to, man. And, the, you know, these signs of the times, you know, measuring the time diligently, seeing these things pop off like earthquakes in diverse places along, along the face of the earth. This is nothing but signs of the end. Okay? When you see these things happen, man, rejoice. For your salvation is nearer than when you believe. Alright? So with that, man, I'm going to say shalom.